Now I'll show you how to enter a confidence interval for a mean on the TI-83+, plus, similar to lots of the other TI-80 calculators. I took this problem from my video, 7.2, part two, CI for confidence interval for a mean, more to the title, but if you go to timestamp, one minute and 51 seconds, you'll see the problem here. Since a confidence interval is predicting your population mean within an upper and lower bound value, you do the same thing basically once with a subtraction and once with an addition, but we have a shortcut for doing that on this calculator. So the purple and at the bottom the blue is going to indicate the buttons I'll be typing. Um, I said, blue, yeah, dark blue down there, I guess. This light aqua blue, I don't know now. Anyways, that's the number specific to this problem. So my calculator is on. 20 minus 2.575. Now in the handwritten version, I have a parenthesis to indicate multiplying my z-score with my standard deviation quantity, but we can just go ahead and hit a times on this calculator, and that kind of takes care of our parenthesis. So now we can move on to three divided by. Well, we want the square root, but remember since it's in yellow above one of the buttons, we need to hit the yellow second button so we can get the yellow functionality to get the square root and now hit our 52. I do not need to hit an end parenthesis. I can just hit enter and I get my lower bound of 18.92, et cetera. And now for the upper bound, instead of typing everything all over again, if you notice in your enter button where your equal sign kind of goes, above it, it says entry in yellow. So I'm gonna hit yellow second button and hit enter to get my entry that I just typed. And now I can arrow over to where my minus sign was and change that to a plus for the upper bound of 21.07, et cetera. So again, to always go back into a line you just finished typing second and enter allows you to then move around within that line.